Listen, use your ears, man. Everyone, Everyone. use your ears, fam. Listen, Listen. use your ears, fam. Listen, Listen. use your ears, fam. Listen, Listen. use your ears, fam. Everyone, Everyone. use your ears, fam. Listen, Listen. use your ears, fam. This is a bad man. Yo! Bad man, Jing. 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 This is a bad man, Jing. Bad man, Jing. Bad man ting, bad man ting, this is a bad man ting, it's a bad man ting, bad man ting, this is a bad man ting, really, bad man ting. Yo, bad man ting, what? Bad man ting, really? We'll just be waiting until we get a little bit more people in here. Hello? Hey there, pal. P A L. Fam. Sup, fam. What's up, everyone? Right. So, hello, everyone that have been joining up so far. I've been really, really, really busy. Um, I've been working so hard on trying to finish the um, the big tutorial, uh, and. I'm so close to completion now, it's insane. I wanted to have it done by Friday. It looks as if I might be able to have it done by tomorrow, but I still won't post it until Friday because I really I really need to check this one through so there's no, no mistakes. And what would have turned into a hello everyone, what would have turned into a two, now two hour long video, it's not two hours, okay? But today when I calculated the time for this one, it said it would be about 55 minutes. So I have to shorten it down because I'd rather make an episode that is more like one of those shows. When you're following a show, you know, on, on TV or nowadays we follow it on Netflix or, or Hulu or something else like Prime. And usually they're like 45 minutes long. And it, so I'm going to try to make it in within 45 minutes, not longer than that. But it's going to be a full piece on sampler with interview bits um, with Marcos Alonso. I got to talk to the dude and I mean, the guy is the, the guy is awesome. I mean, he's been he's been instrumental in uh, showing what an iPad can be like how how an iPad can turn into an instrument. And for today's stream, for everyone who's joining up and saying, hey, hey like uh, my buddy Dean here from Electronic Sounds Audio. Well, today, I'll be completely honest with you, I really didn't have any idea what, what I wanted to do. And so I did this, um, I went up on discord.com. It's, uh, it's a site run by Tim Webb. I'm sure that a lot of you veterans who might be joining right now already know about this site uh, because Tim Webb have been, has been writing about iOS music making for many, many, many years. Um, he, by now he's a veteran. <laughs> and um, so I usually go through this site because it's my favorite site I check through when I want to find out about new apps. And yeah, so I did that and I realized that's that's something I want to do. I want to talk about the new apps out there. Last time we talked um, during the stream, I, I asked you about new apps and the stream before that. And I miss so many apps all the time. And it looks like everybody's having fun with that. Like this one from Nutrix, Woot, or W-O-T-T from Brambos. Uh, I still haven't had time to check it through because I've been so into everything. Uncle Tom is cor correct. It's Sampler. The documentarial that I am or have been working on for three months. It's even more than that. But... For three months, um, off and on, and now the past few week, weeks I've been working hard with it. It's Sampler and Marcos Alonso. I'm trying to do a piece uh, just highlighting Sampler, explaining Sampler, and also, you know, giving you the answers from, from, from Marcos. Like, how early did Apple really grab a hold of Marcos? And like, he answered that. And what's the future, you know? AUV3, will there be AUV3? Will there be an iPhone mode? No, all these things, I asked him that. And so it's going to be awesome finally being able to release that on Friday. So keep an eye out for that. I won't be making it like a premiere like a lot of people do. I, I'm just going to release it and 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 hope that um, <laughs> that people enjoy it. Three months is a long time to work on a project. So for this stream, I really want to talk apps. 
new apps i want to talk I, I want you to tell me what you've been using lately like everything new if there are any updates you think that i should know of um when i haven't been working on the sampler video I've been working with Ape Matrix trying to get to learn that more intimately because I want to start featuring it the way I featured AUM. And I'll, I'll tell you something about that, by the way. I'll just catch up quickly here to see so no one is asking me any questions on the, uh, um, uh, in the chat here. I'm going to try to keep... You know what? You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep my chat really close to me I'll, I'll put it right under my nose so I can keep check, you know, keep checking what you're writing because I don't want to miss stuff. Last time I was missing a lot of stuff. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, mm, yeah. So did someone, did someone get a, Carl, have you had that DFAM for a long time or did you just get it? Uh, maybe I just mean, misunderstood you. Uh, seems like you, Oh yeah, W O T T. I didn't even know about O T T. I had to look it up. I had to ask Bram about it. Uh, like I said in the last stream, for those of you who didn't hear that, uh, W O T T is something that was made for Ableton Live or something. And I'm not an Ableton Live user. I, I've tried to use it, and it didn't really fit uh, with my style. Um, so I didn't know about it, you know. But it seems that. It, there's been a whole rave about that thing, the, the WOTT, and I'm gonna have to check uh, Nutrix's video here. He makes excellent videos, by the way. Do you guys follow Nutrix? You should. You should follow him. He makes really good stuff. Also, like last time when I was doing Matrix, I got so much help from from you guys and from Dave, Davey Poo. Davey Poo ha has a YouTube channel. I I just I I gotta sh shout him out. Got to shout him out for everyone. David Poo is really nice. He, he makes um, he makes some nice. Uh, let's see here, Davy Poo. Let's see if I can find him like this, Davy Poo. There he is. There he is. Oh, he's got he he's almost got a thousand subscribers. Why don't you help the dude out? For those of you who are watching this, if you haven't subscribed to David Poo, you go do that. Go help him out get to reach uh, a thousand subs. Uh, he makes great videos and. You know, he was re really, really good at explaining how to use uh, Ape Matrix. So, yeah, new apps, new apps. Are there anything new that I've missed that you think I should be be, be checking? I want a copy of Nembrini 8180. Nembrini 8180. Nembrini 8180. Nembrini. Uh, Nembrini. 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 80. No, oh, wait, what was it? 8180? Was it 8180? Come on. Let's see here. 8180. All right, all right. Nem, nem, I'm, I'm, I'm typing. Google is helping me with my spelling. I'm, I'm typing nem, Nemrini. So it's a tube guitar amplifier. Okay, so I, I, I am very bad at checking out um, uh, guitar amp stuff. So this is, it sounds like it's distorting the microphone I don't like that I'm very bad at checking out um, guitar apps because I'm not a gu guitarist hey audio dabbler um, and um, yeah I mean I keep forgetting that back in the day when I wanted some really good distortion for for my synth basses I, I usually ran them even if they were stereo synth I would run them on one channel and I would use a bass um, a bass distortion pedal because you know they're they're so good at that. They already have everything filtered off in the right way to be good at, bo at bass, and they're really good at heating up bass sounds, synth sounds. And I just I completely forgot about that as soon as I got into software and everything. You know, I, I stopped using guitar stuff, and it's not so often I actually do. You know, so do you guys like the Nembrini stuff? Like, has Nembrini does done a lot? Let me let me check out the app store here for Nembrini. It's all guitar pedal shit, Uncle Tom says. Oh, Audio Dabbler is, has gone over 4K. You got you gone over 4K subs? That's awesome, dude. You deserve it, Mitch. Nembrini. Nembrini. Why am I? I can't. I can't. I can't spell. Nembrini Audio. Nembrini Audio. All right. Audio. I 
was that almost sounded like a Boston accent. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it really is all all guitar stuff. It looks like guitar stuff. Is it good though? Do you like it? Guys, tell me. Do you like their stuff? How many guitars do I have in in uh, that, that, that use my stuff? How many of you uh, play guitar stuff? Like, I can play a little bit of guitar. And you know, someday I should actually do an episode where I'm doing something like that. I'm, I'm not very good at playing guitar obviously and I'm only you know kind of kind of good with a with an analog guitar uh, an analog guitar acoustic guitar I'm, I'm good with acoustic guitar I don't have any number in his stuff I seriously need to check out something in here so if if I should check out anything from Nembrini uh, what should I check out? You you type you type it down there. I'll make sure I go back and check everything. We got Alex Matthew in in the chat too. Q basis three shit. Andy, I I had to moderate that for some reason. I I last time we streamed, I had to moderate a lot of comments because some somehow uh, the um th there's a like a profanity filter. I, I mean. The thing that Andy wrote isn't even a profanity. Come on, shit. It's just, you know. But the, the YouTube has this function, a profanity filter. I didn't turn it on. And then when I went and checked, it was on uh, for some reason. And I can't seem to make it go away. And this time I had to turn it off too. And now I have to do it again. It's only to catch girls? What? Why would you? Why would you make me moderate that? YouTube, what the hell is going on with YouTube? Jesus. That's just insane. Let's see here. Download other free one for starters. Yeah, yeah, sure. I should do that, right? Uh, so we got... What do we do? Okay, I'm, I'm going to download these. And so we got analog rack cleaner. <sighs> do I have to, t uh, to type in my... Uh, yeah, I think I might... I'm I'm gonna have to type in my uh, my my password. I don't want that on cam. Let's see here. Okay, I'm just gonna do that real quick. I'll be right with you, everyone. So install that. There you go. Uh, did that work? It worked. Uh, there's another one. Analog rack chorus is also free, and analog rack delay. Do you know if are these always free? Uh, or are they just free for a little bit? Like, because if I make another free apps video, I'm going to have to make a new one because last time I made one, <laughs> some developers, they realized that a lot of people were downloading their apps and so, <laughs> and so they gave them a price. Yeah, so a lot of them aren't free <laughs> anymore. Apps that have been like free for years, they're not free <laughs> anymore. I brought attention to them, you know, which is okay. I, I, I'm okay with that. And... The prices aren't really that high for some of these apps. I mean, you can't really complain. Um, but I'd love to make another one of those, you know. I actually... A lot of people um, ask me in my vicinity, like other YouTubers, they have been asking me like, hey, what do you... Uh, what kind of videos do you want to... Do, do you make to get the most views? Like, uh, And someone mentioned the free apps one. I didn't make that one to get the most views. I did that because... I'm asked every day by people in the community, do you know about free apps? And every time they ask me, I'm like, yeah, I know about one or two. And then I realize every time that there are more apps out there and I have to find them. So I went through 400 apps and found, I don't, I can't remember how many it was, like 24 apps or something. And then I made that video. Is that an iPad mini on your left? Yes, that is an iPad mini one. Uh, and uh, it's really, really old. It's got the same specs as an iPad 2. iPad 2. So it's that old. You can only run uh, iOS 9 on it. But Sampler still runs on it. Um, so I run Sampler on it. TC11 still runs on it. And uh, I run that on there. Um, I use it as a, as a, instead of a mirror or a camera, I'm just using it to show my face. This is my face, everyone. And also, the uh, this one, 
uh, is an iPad Mini 2 and it's still useful but it can only run up to um, to 12 uh, Samuel says rant videos are good for views yeah it hasn't worked out for me whenever I, I make a video and it says rant in there uh, no one watches it uh, it's the same thing like I did this video uh, like would you like to see some produce uh, production tricks and a lot of people will say yes I want to see production tricks whenever I've made those in the past they get the, the least amount of use that's why I stopped doing them because there was no interest and if I'm gonna put a lot of time into making a video I'd rather make one that interests more people but um, sometimes I make videos that will pull in views like videos about cables those are the kinds of videos I make for views I have one video that's uh, far beyond a hundred thousand views now and it, uh, it, it's about cables it's about lightning cables the problem is that it's attracting a, a type of viewer that isn't interested in my content and so I'm never gonna make those videos again this is why I like the channel iOS community almost everyday video about actually new and free apps yeah I mean there are so many good channels out there and since I can only make at the most now one or at the top two videos per week depending on the topic uh, I'm doing and since I'm always going to be late with everything I think it's good that there are people like Mitch the audio dabbler that the Dean electronic sounds who is very very like like putting out stuff like like really good content all the time and then you have Davey Poo uh, the music minstrel doing that too and then you got like Brandon Rico Simpson does that too we got beatmakers the squad there's so many good youtubers out there and for anyone who doesn't know I don't think I have if you go to my main channel Jakob Hack then in every video if you open up the description box you'll see the links to all of these YouTube channels all of them so if you're new to to iOS music if you just found the stream go check that I'm gonna start putting them into my live stream videos too I, I think I've forgotten about that copying and pasting that information in there but I'll fix that for the future Let's see here. Essential sax. Is the MPC Pro loading? Um, uh, Andy, I, I know almost nothing about MPC. I know almost nothing about the, uh, the MPC app. If you ask me about the hardware, that's another story. I, I know about that one since long ago. But the apps, I, I don't use them because after I found Beatmaker 3, all other apps they were lacking something you know they were all lacking in one or way or another and beatmaker 3 takes takes that sampling game that that mpc game so much further and there's there's still no, there are still no apps that quite does it like beatmaker 3 all right so we've downloaded the free apps from nembrini why don't you tell me about more developers which apps that i need to check i've already got w o t o w double O T T from uh, from Bram I already have that um, but I'm sure there's n more new apps I mean uh, let's see here where is it not not that I was supposed to go to Safari because I was on discord and there was this one app that I was oh yeah there's a new app from uh, Eventide crystal harmonizer I haven't checked it out but every app with harmonizer in the name just mm, it just gets me gets my blood gushing so that is an app I'm gonna check out during my vacation now I'm really interested in that they also have um, um, another voice app or some kind of some kind of harmonizer pitch shifter kind of thing I'm gonna check that out too yeah I don't know if we'll ever get Beatmaker 3 to, on the iPhone I mean there's been talk about it Adam Han Hardiman iOS MM hi Jacob what about MM1 it's a game changer for me yeah you're talking about Kai Aras's app MM1 right yeah the, me and Kai we are we are friends me and Kai have become really 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 good friends over a long time uh, we talk uh, almost every week now and I've been seeing all of his new apps so I know what's coming from him but I can't tell you um, so MM1 is one of those apps that I actually I, I said that to him like this is this is really cool I mean being able to sequence mute groups uh, if that's the one you're talking about Adam isn't it if you're still here are you still here Adam are you still here Adam 
Let, let's check that out. Let's check that out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, we go to the App Store and we'll just go to Kayaras. I don't think I have it. I might have. Yeah, I had a test flight version of it, but I don't have. I don't have the official version. MM1. Oh, we'll have to go to Kayaras. Let's see here. Kai Aras. Uh, there he is. Um, MM1. There we go. Newt Master. Yeah, I don't have the official version. I only have a test flight version somewhere. So it's a mute group for those of you who don't know. Like It mutes stuff. And the cool thing is with this is that you can load up several of them. And every instance of this plug will communicate with, they will all communicate with each other without having to set up anything, which is pretty cool. And then you can sequence, uh, do sequences of muting. So you have a sequencer just for muting, which is pretty cool, especially if you're doing something like, as in this picture right here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's basically got uh, like a row of, of shockwave. And if you let Shockwave do drones, different types of drones, and then you put these plugs in the FX uh, section, and then you start sequencing, uh, muting between these, you'll get some really awesome effects. And the reason to why Kai made this, I can tell you that at least, um, is that he's a modular user. He has a really big modular system at home. And uh, that's why a lot of his apps are modular in one way or another, because he, he's trying to transfer that modular workflow from his studio into his apps to the apps he makes and so this was a really really cool app so yeah i do like this one did he land on the name chompler chompler what are you guys talking about and he confirms it mute master not sure if you already mentioned them but i'm excited for the new elliot garage app and chompler oh yeah that's right. Elliot did ask on Facebook, right? Didn't he like ask for a name for that new app he's working on? Um, I've been following in that too. Hello, Pete. Hello, Pete. What's up, sir? You don't need to serve me. I'm just some dude in in a in a in a bedroom. I'm in a bedroom. I'm literally in, in a bedroom. That's where my studio is. I'm a bedroom music producer. <laughs> and I've, I've been doing that for a long time. No need to serve me. I'm not special. I'm not above anyone. I'm, I'm just I'm just trying not to be an asshole every day. That, that's, that's all I'm doing. So thank you for joining up, by the way, and anyone else who might be joining up. Mm. Oh, this is, th this is really good. I need to thank my honey for this. Seriously, that was really good. What is that? Is that? It's tea, by the way. I think that's, yeah, that's, it's ginger. Yeah, it's ginger. Vivid Tracker is awesome. Ooh, Vivid Tracker. Um, that is um, Vivid Tracker. Andy, Andy, don't get me started on Cubasis 3, okay? Don't, don't get me started on Cubasis 3. I love Cubasis. Everyone who have been watching my channel for quite some time, you already know that I love Cubasis. You know that I love Cubase. You know I love Steinberg. But, but I get so frustrated because Cubasis 3 was really, really buggy when it came out. Um, they have fixed a lot of it. They have fixed a lot of it. And I'm waiting for, for them to fix more stuff. And hopefully they'll they'll hammer out all of the kinks in there. Because as soon as they've done that, the next thing they should be doing is implementing um, audio unit audio <laughs> audio unit multi multi in uh, in and out uh, because i really want to be able to use sorry the sidechain ability in in all the fab filter stuff all right i really want to do that ed says he's sticking with cubasis 2 i'm also sticking with cubasis 2 let's see here vivid track it uh, uh, bass 808 yeah bass i mean bass bass 808 okay so um yeah th here's the thing i i love i love um uh, what um oh god what what audio kit makes awesome stuff and audio kit is an awesome project i mean they've done a lot of things for the app community especially when it comes to you know releasing audio kit the code for for other developers so that they can make awesome apps easierly uh, easierly I don't 
yeah, more e it's easier for some developers to get in on making apps now thanks to AudioKit. So AudioKit is pretty much I view AudioKit now as I viewed uh, AudioBus and the guys who made AudioBus back in the day. You know when everybody start started utilizing the interrupt audio system and everything they were pretty much working closely with with uh, Apple and trying to make that thing come through documenting stuff for the rest of the community and now we have audio kit making it easier for developers it's awesome but th there th 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 I talked to Matt some time ago and he tol told me about you know these apps he was gonna make that would only be available for time and and that's it's pretty cool because I mean you only have that certain amount of time to get them and then afterwards they raised the price uh, to make them like l to a pretty unreasonable state in order for so, so that people won't buy them basically I think it's like nine hundred and ninety nine dollars uh, once that s special time offer time is out the problem for me now is that if I can't get to making a video about that app within that time then my video will be will be outdated as soon as I release it. If I make an uh, if I make a video about 808 base now, isn't that isn't like it's not going to be sold at that price anymore, right? It's going to be raised now. So for me, it's not worth it making a video about that because no one is going to be able to get get it. I don't think that people will be willing to spend 999 dollars now. So I have a little problem there. I'm trying to catch up you know and make some videos about their apps but if, if that happens then yeah that's that is a problem for me I always try to make videos that will last as long as possible uh, and when the apps don't then the videos won't either and so I don't know what to do I mean the 808 base is awesome I I hope that they at they at I hope that at some point they just decide to no we're just gonna sell them forever because I mean their apps are awesome. It would be a shame not to sell them for all, for forever, you know. <laughs> oh, it's on Friday, Sam Samuel. Oh, well, in that case, it's it's not worth for me to make a video about it. Uh, I have tested the app. It's pretty awesome. It's great for people making trap. It's got every control and the right type of sound for anyone making modern trap music that's all you need uh, you could you could set set up set something similar up in in a synth app but with this one you load it and everything that you would normally set up in a synth it's it's already there and done it's already done so you just load the plug and you have an instant trap base machine yeah it's great that way um it's under the 100 days of code and audio kit Cubase is Cubase worries me. Everyone hates it, but still uses Cubase. <laughs> Uncle Tom, I don't think that everyone hates it. I think they hate the bugs. That's what I think they hate. I think they hate the broken state of Cubase 3. That's what I think they hate. And uh, I'm too much of a fanboy not to be more angry. So I can't, I can't be as angry as everyone else. I'm just frustrated because I'm a fanboy. I'm, I'm a literal fanboy. So I'll let them get away with a lot more than <laughs> most people probably, you know? That, that's just how it works when you love something like that so much. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's just the way it is. All right, so we talked Mute Monster. We've talked some Lambrini stuff. Uh, I'm gonna have to test that out. Oh, I have this long list of apps that I'm gonna have to try to catch up with, you know? A big, a big. Um, let's see here. Uh, when I was on iOS, I love Cubase. Tony, by the way, Tony, are you not on iOS anymore? Are you using something else? Are you, uh, what do you use, Tony? If you're still here, Tony, by the way, is an he's an awesome human being. He's an awesome human being. He started a group uh, which I won't announce publicly uh, in in right now because it is a group um, for people on Facebook that are sober alcoholic uh, and um, so like people who are sober basically who have had problems like myself. I'm, I'm a sober alcoholic and drug addict, and he started a group and he's been doing such great 
work there and it's really created a community where people can come in and feel like they're they're part of something you know and uh, i've seen so many people get help there so tony you should really pet yourself on the uh, pet you should pat pat yourself on the back uh, because you're an awesome human being and uh, yeah i mean i good things are going to come to you man um vivid tracker has been mentioned two time here by andra and and I'm I'm just gonna call you Ander if you're here, Ander. Um, Vivid Tracker. Yeah, it takes me back because of uh, p my time with Pro Tracker and um, Fast Tracker. Uh, I think Pro Tracker was on Amiga, right? Um, if I remember correctly. Let's see here. Uh, I think it's Vivid Tracker. Vivid. <laughs> not not Karasaras Vivid. Vivid tracker by the way if anyone has any questions uh, about anything you know me the channel anything you you make sure you post them down there I won't be doing like a Q&A later on it, th this is the Q&A if you want to ask something just ask me vivid tracker open it yeah oh god every time I see this view I get I get shivers it reminds me of the days I used to sit back in my parents home in our apartment and I was working uh, of that machine that they uh, what was it uh, was the was that the was that the Commodore or was it the Amiga I can't remember which one it was now either way they worked hard for a whole year uh, trying to save up money to buy me that computer and it was one of the first times you know when I got that computer I know how expensive it was for them to even try to get that that was like a luxury items for most of the people in that area and they got it for me they got it for me I didn't think they would and I didn't think they did support me when it came to the, my music life but I've been wrong about that you know I realized that in my my later years no way they would have gotten me this thing if they didn't at some point you know somewhere believe me or hope that I would do something with it I'm so happy I'm here now I mean I'm here being able to share this with you, you know, everything I've learned over the years, uh, being able to share that with you, it all started, you know, with a, with a, it started with tape, tape recorders and stuff, but to get into the digital and computers and programming and stuff like it's, it started on a Commodore 64. Have anyone else used, um, uh, trackers? It's like, I remember hacking it too mixing samples together because if you look at this you have four channels right and you were limited to that in, in the in these first programs like four channels and then um, in, in order to get like drum uh, hi-hat and bass into the same thing when I wanted to make drum and bass tracks I had to go in and mix samples so at some spots you know because I wanted to limit the drums to run on one channel I didn't want to spread it out so that I had bass kicks here and then snares over here and stuff. So I, I, I literally had to mix samples together and play them in the same same channel. Uh, it was it was hard work, you know. It was hard work doing stuff like that. And also, I built my first sampler, hardware sampler for a Commodore. Uh, this big of a board. Uh, can you see my arms? Wait, there. The board was. If this is the iPad Mini then the board was pretty much like this, this big. It was pretty insane, actually. Someone has used Sunvox Scream Tracker. Is that a thing? Octomed Pro Tracker. Yeah, Octomed. Yeah, of course. Octomed, wasn't that for for PC? If I remember correctly? I think so. Long live Future Crew. I know Dean got the new tracker hardware that just came out. Tracker hardware, tracker hardware, what, 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 what are you, what are you on, Tony, what's going on, Alex Matthew still has his Amiga, yeah, I do too, I still have it, I have this, like a huge banana box, you know, banana box, you know what I mean, like the box that bananas come in, usually you go to stores, ask them if they have them, you'll pay them a little bit, they're great to, to move stuff in, we do that all the time here in Sweden, yeah, I, I, I think you might be doing it, over where you are too. I have these banana boxes full of uh, diskettes, like uh, of discs, of flop floppy disks. Still, and I don't know if they they still work. 
I do remember this with the Amiga. Never ever push the uh, floppy eject button when the light is on. I can't tell you how many times I've actually messed up entire discs full with projects because I didn't let it, you know, finish reading or writing or whatever it is because I popped it out too early. Ugh, you could lose all your work so quickly. Amiga 500. There you go. Dean is here now. Oh, walked back in and you're playing a tracker. Uh, I'm actually not... I'm not actually not playing the tracker. I'm just showing the track. I don't even know if there's anything in here. sends me back instantly like instantly I'm, I'm like back in my parents room uh, in front of my TV I miss that I miss the old you know bulging TV the the round TV the the four three format and everything I miss that I actually do uh, maybe I should try to integrate it again you know the Amiga now that I rebuilt my studio and I'm I'm going to order something. Um, it's going to be a shelf system. I've, I already know what it's going to be. I'm going to order it from IKEA. It's very very. Um, uh, you, you can you can pretty much DIY something from it yourself. So I'm just going to order some parts, and and there's going to be a shelf system. Let's see here if I can show you. So there's going to be shelf system going from uh, from that side over to the other side, and it's going to be like this high. Um, and there's going to be like two shelves and then there's going to be an arm holding an iPad in the middle and maybe I'll just put um, I'll make some kind of a rack and put an Amiga at the top um, and I'll hack some kind of a monitor thing together so that I could use uh, because I've, I've got some I think I have a computer screen somewhere. Either that, or I'll I'll buy some screen, uh, like a cheap screen, and I'll I'll integrate the Amiga into the iOS Studio. That would be pretty awesome, though. Uh, any update for a beatmaker? No, no. Uh, but, but here's the thing: when I talked to the beatmaker crew last time, they pretty much said like, "Hey, we've been here for like twen tw twelve years. It takes us time to do stuff." So be patient and uh, I know that's hard I know that's hard but I know that they're still working on it because I talked to them as late as like one month ago I didn't really get any specific information but they said that they still were working on it and that, yeah that's pretty much it so if you're hoping for any new BM3 stuff you're, you're gonna have to wait like everyone else I don't know what they're doing I don't know what they're working on right now but they're still working on it Let's see here. It is what it is, but future. Oh, I have. What the hell? Oh, I had to moderate that, Samuel. I'm so sorry. I had to moderate that because it's you wrote the word shit. YouTube, you need to stop doing this, okay? My audience are grown-ups. They're adults. I mean, we're allowed to say the 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 s word. We're allowed to say that. As long as they beatmaker are working on it, that's good enough. Yeah, they were. They were. My, um, uh, hello, Michael, and hello everyone else. Hello everyone else. I'm so happy that you're all joining up um, for this stream, where I didn't really know what to do, and it just turns out that we are talking apps and we're talking old days, and uh, maybe I should make an episode on the trackers in general because I have a lot of information about that, and I still have a lot of music left from both um, from Pro Tracker, I still have some discs I think I can get some of the, those projects out of there yeah I in any case I could always uh, start up the Amiga and do it that way I also have my Commodore still my, my, my C64 I should probably make a cover of, of that but 
after um, after vacation. So on, on Friday I'm gonna release the video um, with you know the big big video on Sampler and Marcos Alonso, the creator of Sampler. And then the next video I'm gonna be working on uh, that's gonna be big that's gonna come out in maybe a month or two is gonna be the Drambo video because that's how much I think it deserves a proper cover. My problem is that the developer Jarek has never ever wanted to do a, an interview okay and I'm gonna have to work on him please don't go and 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 pester him about doing an interview with me that might turn that might make it worse that might make him not want to do it but I kinda have to do an interview in when I do a big cover otherwise my docutorial won't be a docutorial you know what I mean I wanna make a docutorial about about Bram, uh, Bram about Drambo I think Jarek deserves it. Jarek, Jarek is the one who made Impactor. 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 And then he makes Drambo. These are two apps that are just so incredibly good. It just this, no joke. It's they're just unbelievably good. Samuel, don't avoid them. I'll keep I'll keep doing that. I'll keep just clearing your comments. You know, I'll keep doing that. Don't, don't. It's YouTube's fault. I told YouTube that it shouldn't moderate my stuff, but it it turns out it's doing it anyway. I don't know why it does that. It's really annoying. Let's see here. Um, play something. You want? <laughs> yeah, I know. The thing is, I only have what's in here right now because I haven't made anything new in this one. I deleted it some time ago, downloaded it, and I don't think I have any of my patents any of my patents here anymore. I don't think I have any of my patents here anymore. Um Yeah, I don't. I'm gonna have to do something with this. I'm gonna have to do something with this. I have to feature this one. So, how would you compare Drambo versus Myrak? I wouldn't. I would not compare them. No, nope, absolutely not. Because Drambo is built around or inside a sequencer. I would not compare Myrak with, with Drambo. Myrak is as close to a modular Eurorack system you can get. Drambo is not that. It is modular, but it's been made in such a specific way. Everything connects one way. You never connect any cables, and it's all built around the sequencer. As soon as you put a few models in there, modules in there, you can sequence it instantly. Sequencing stuff inside my rack. Of course it's doable, but but you do it as in any modular rack. And and it's always going to be as time consuming as it is in a modular rack unless you have something pre-set up, you know? With Drambo, you have a sequencing machine in there. It's literally a sequencer and then you take you uh, he's taken like a modular engine, put it in there and made it simple. Removed all the cables. So, it wouldn't be fair to compare them and sound-wise I mean, I, I, I wouldn't either. I would say that Drambo has that typical Jarek Beep Street sound to it. If you used any Beep Street stuff, you can hear it instantly, you know, when it comes to... If you make a saw waveform in there and you also play something from Sunrise Synth, is it, I think, you, you, can, you can hear that same kind of sound. Drambo is... It's just an insane... Uh, modular thing but it's modular synthesis that people can get into even Doug Woods for crying out loud uh, told me in a phone like a phone call and Skype call I came up he, he isn't interested I'm not interested because it's gonna take time and you ca connecting and I'm like I'm trying to explain to him like hey Doug it, it's not that hard but then he uh, watched a video from someone I think and after that he, he got into it and that's the thing. You don't. If you're not into modular stuff and you don't want to do the cabling stuff, then then definitely try out Drambo. It's 
it's modular synthesis made very easy as long as you follow the simple connection protocol everything connects that way that's it if you want this module to co to to control this module you put it right before it and that's it and th th there's not much else to it you can connect stuff uh, like uh, other ways if you want to but if you want it simple you just put the modules in like that uh, if, if you ended up adding a lots of modules and you add another one and you realize hey this one should be I want this one to connect to another one well you just move it back to that spot it's that simple so Drambo is no I would not compare those because of that reason um, thanks for asking the question though uh, I've already been asked a lot of times and I was you know pondering making a video about it but I'd rather just make one video about my rack and one video about Drambo um, where do I have it where do I have Drambo where's Drambo did I did I lose Drambo where did Drambo go Drambo hey hey where is it? I'm I'm actually getting nervous now. Don't don't tell me I I deleted it or something. Maybe you are already typing on there. I see Jacob. It's right there. You idiot. Can't you see it? It's right in front of you. It's right in front of me, man. Just game over, man. Game over. Where is it? I can't see it. I'm so blind. Drambo. Drambo. Where did I put drap I cheated. Oh no, it's on my dock. It's on my dock, right? Michael saw it. Uh, yeah, Michael saw it. Too bad, Michael. I might have to hunt you down now, just to remove all all evidence of this. Delete this stream. Move away. Disappear for a week or five. Okay, so it's right there. <laughs> it's on my dock. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> I was so stupid. I mean, Drambo is so simple. It's so simple. The first time I opened it up, I didn't know <laughs> what to do. And I actually did that thing where I just removed this thing. And then I, I added a, 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 an oscilloscope and it just blew out my ears. And I'm like, oh crap I need to add the media to CV of course because it's a modular it's 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 really 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 dumb the only thing I've done in here is I spent like a whole week building a, a groove box and I have played that in an earlier episode like four videos back um, and by the way just so that anyone who has just joined up if you've missed um, any of my um, announcement on Twitter or Instagram then I've I've gone out to say that I'm going on a vacation uh, which is going to last 2 weeks. So it starts um it starts next week basically and then 2 weeks ahead I I I'll, I'll be very absent. I I won't even check my emails. I'll just be off grid. Um I won't respond to anything. I'll just stay away from everything. Uh, I, I I yeah, I just need the time off to recharge it a little bit. And um, so I'm just going to release the big video on Friday. And so I won't be streaming on Wednesdays for those two weeks. But after that, I'm back again and everything will be done as usual. And we'll just keep doing it on Wednesday. Um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, so what the, the only thing I've done in here is build um, a big, a big, um, basically, a, it's, a, it's a groove box. Uh, something that I can open up and start producing in instantly. Yeah, so I'm not gonna go away anywhere specific um, 
for obvious reasons. Andy, I'll show you just in a minute. I'll just respond to this question. Um, so basically, I don't want to travel anywhere. I don't want to sit on... We, we don't own a car, me and my girlfriend. We, we basically take uh, public transportation wherever we go anywhere if we want to go further. And right now... We haven't gone on public transportation for since this whole thing started with C19. I don't want to mention it because it's, I don't want this video to be lifted with every other video mentioning it uh, so that I get people coming in on this video thinking I'm going to be talking about that. Um, but I'm just going to go out into the woods and that's it, everyone. Just into the woods, off grid. I'll only be bringing I'll only be bringing one tool this this is the only thing I'll be bringing I have two lenses for it it's a wide lens and a regular zoom lens and I'm gonna sit down on an auction site a, a Swedish auction site named Tradiera and I'm gonna try to find a lens uh, for macro shots and another one for zoom shots because I don't I'm not rich I don't make loads of money off YouTube, uh, so I always have to go for the used stuff, um, and sometimes I choose stuff that are slightly broken that I can service in some way, um, and that way I can get a lot get get a lot of equipment for almost no money because I'm usually short. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be focusing on capturing pictures, just capturing nature and also listening at nature i'll also be bringing a microphone out into nature and just recording some some bird singing because uh yeah this like there's nothing more relaxing than listening to birds sing when you're in the forest and if you sit still for long enough you start seeing these little critters they they jump down from the trees they forget about you you because you're becoming one with the space um, they don't mind you anymore, you know, you're not moving. And then you have the luxury of sitting and watching these things pick up a food from the floor, you know, which is just, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful mental state to be in, to watch survival, you know, like that. It makes me feel alive and it makes me feel very, very calm inside this basic baser instinct of survival just looking foraging for food ma making do with what you have right in front of you you know it's just uh, it's just yeah it gives me shivers all right so um andy if you're still here drambo what's drambo okay this is drambo and what it is is a modular synthesizer with the sequencer and why i say that is because you can even see a sequencer row in here so if I open up, I'll open up uh, the empty one. I think I have this one. I think this one might be empty. Yeah. Basically, so what I've done in here, if, if we go in here, so I've added, um, these are channels, basically. Um, and so I've set up these channels uh, with different instruments that I've built with all the modules in here. So if I go to the drum channel, then this is what the drum machine looks like, basically. Uh, it's a load of sample players, all connected uh, to mixers, and then it goes to an output, and you can sequence all of it. Let's see here. Come on, is it not? Oh, okay, it's longer than that. Oh, Jesus, it's that long. Okay, so um, if we check the next channel. Do I have my... Yeah, I do. Can you see that? In... Is that on? Let's do that. So you see... I basically built this synthesizer. Um... And, and 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 that's it i mean if i break it apart here so this this synthesizer <coughs> i'm sorry this synthesizer consists of um, a sub oscillator another oscillator i i think i have three oscillators in here yeah 
one, two, three oscillators. Uh, so the way you build it is uh, you first need a CV module because it's a modular synth, so you need to transfer um, the, the MIDI to CV. So uh, CV is uh, basically control voltage. Um, and so that way you're able to communicate the notes you're playing from your keyboard into your synth in the forms of notes, actual notes. It's controlling the voltage output. That's how a regular um, real analog synthesizer works. Um, the, 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 no the note is being decided by the voltage you put out. And so you, you, you just calculate that, recalculate that with a module like a MIDI to CV converter. And so when you're playing your C here, it calculates that out to a voltage. Um, and so then when you add stuff in here, you add an envelope and then you add an oscillator and you just, you just keep going. You add a filter and you do it all in one direction. And everything that you put in like that, so if you put in a, an envelope here, it will connect to the next thing that way. And that's how it works. With a regular modular system like Myrac, you have to do that connection with a cable. You have to actually take a cable and move it to where you want it to go and connect it like you do with a real one, you know? Uh, so that's why I say that this one is so simple. So it's a modular synth and what I've set up here is a drum machine, a bass, a Reese machine, And this is also another sample play that I set up. We just basically, um, what kind of a sampler is this? Uh, yeah, so I've set up several samples inside this thing, uh, basically, and just uh, put them into different uh, notes over the keyboard so I, that I can play different samples on each keyboard. I'm going to have to make a video about this. I, I know. I can't just go through all of it right now because that would be be a very long stream. Here's another synthesizer that I make. It's a uh, made. It's a pluck synthesizer, and it's obviously a monophonic one. I made an organ. It sounds like Punch Out. Um, and then I have a pad machine. So I've basically built each and every one of these synthesizers and whenever you build something they they're always they've always got a sequencer in here and you can record this sequencer even though it looks like a one note sequencer each step can have several notes on every step so you can it's it's polyphonic it, polyphonic Mark Doty would would probably strangle me for saying it's polyphonic as if that has to do with actually how many notes it can play. It doesn't. It has to do, polyphony has to do with expression and so much more. And if you really want to know what polyphony is, I think you should search for what is polyphony uh, and stuff and search with the uh, with the name Mark Doty because that guy, no one describes it like he does. He's so good at it. He even made, he, he's even made two videos about it that are so good going through uh, the um, evolution of polyphony and what it actually means trying to clear it up because everyone is using it wrong I found that to be a really really interesting video Andy if there's anything you want to ask about Drambo you just ask me and I might be able to um, to uh, answer you well wall answered that Drambo is modular without wires yeah that's actually what it is Bring your Zoom H6 with a shotgun mic. I don't own, own a, a Zoom H6. I only have um, I have a really old Zoom, <laughs> but I wanna get I wanna get one of those H6s, and I and I w want those microphones. I really want the shotgun mic. I just haven't been able to afford it yet. It's it's slow, you know. It's slow and. I could probably solve all these problems if I just said yes to every really idiotic offer I got from companies wanting me to make ads on my videos.
but I just I just can't especially not when when the product they want to make they, they want me to promote doesn't make any sense is one thing for a company saying hey do you want to promote our app that hasn't happened yet by the way but but um, uh, because app developers aren't rich either unless you you're lucky you know and your app sells millions but um, I've, I've gotten so many re requests like like hello we love your channel can you please make video about this and and the, and the, the language is usually very broken because it's been translated with Google Translate um, and so that always gets me a little bit like mm, I'm not too sure and then it's usually some um, some company you know making really cheap products uh, that I just I, I know by looking at them that I don't think I want to promote this and especially not when it's not even music stuff the, the, someone wanted me to promote what was it but I don't know if I can say this because you know if it's a vengeful company they might just strike me out or something if, if they find out that I talked about it but how can I mention it without mentioning them specifically they wanted me to uh, uh, I don't know how to say that alright okay sunglasses why in the world would I promote sun sunglasses on my main channel hmm hmm can you tell me that hmm they love my channel, right? They love my channel. They love my work. They love my work. You're a great tech YouTuber. How about you promote our sunglasses on your videos? Yeah, sure. I'll do that. I'll do a video about modular synthesis and then, hey, by the way, you want to buy sunglasses? Are you serious? I mean, I don't, I don't get the, the uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Myrek can do stereo. Yes, it can definitely do stereo. Myrek can do stereo, and um, it actually, when you open it up, it has as um, it opens up with a stereo output. Um, so yeah, you can do that. Blue light block some gases. Yeah, um, I'm I'm not gonna answer that, Samuel. As I said, I don't want to get a, I don't want a company to get angry with me and maybe maybe trademark my name. You know, that happens sometimes in this industry. Sometimes a big billion dollar company will just go out and trademark someone's name because they're but butthurt over criticism. That can happen. That would be a bad thing. That, that's usually a bad thing. Not something you should do. Not something you should do. A eh, little bit over the top. I think I'm, think, I think I'm still annoyed at that. <clears throat> Stay in your shoes, Jacob. Yeah, I am. B by the way, I don't have any shoes. I'm not going to show you because I don't have any socks either. Uh, maybe maybe you're not fo feet people. Maybe you're not feet people. <laughs> I can't even I can't even figure out what I was trying to say there. <laughs> Someone mentioned Zen Beats. Hmm, it's Ed, Ed and iOS Traken talking about Zen Beats will soon be the go-to app. The thing about Zenbeats is they have pretty. They've managed to make. Um, I mean, it's an old. It's an older app than people think. I mean, it existed at Stagelight before Roland uh, purchased the rights for it. Uh, so it's it's a bit older, but they managed to make an app uh, that is cross-platform, uh, and that's always a good thing, you know. Uh, so how many apps do we have that are cross plat <laughs> cross-platform if, if you think about it you can export Ableton link sessions from a lot of apps and that's good for Ableton link users um, but if you run Cubase you have to use Cubases um, and then you have uh, of course now Zenbeats is a cross-platform thing so it's Zenbeats on all platforms basically um, that's always good you know if you're starting work on one place and then you have GarageBand of course I mean that's pretty much cross-platform and have been for quite some time now so that works sex talk oh, I had to YouTube you really want me to moderate that come on I also have no feet sex talk again Sasha d don't worry I won't be talking feet anymore it's it's okay calm down Sasha <laughs> calm down no more feet talk promise for at least five minutes five minutes okay just calm down 
Five minutes. No, no more sex talk. Pete says, I enjoy your... Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. You perfectly capture the weirdness and frustration of the Eng <laughs> English language. Thank you. I, I take that as a comment. Thank you so much. The Sam speech module in Myrac is nice. Sam speech module. I don't think I've checked out. There are so many modules in Myrac. And I got to say, if we take a look at Myrac. Uh, let's see here. I'll just close this down. It's starting to get a little bit cluttered here right now. If we, if we check out Myrac. Oh, let me just turn that down. I don't know what I had. Failed to load patch? Why? 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 No. Why? new from template just a just a generator let me see here what happened to my old patch uh, what happened to it let's see here okay so I'll tell you what I like the most in this one and I gotta say that the synth kit uh, modules are great looking and there's another company whose uh, apps I like which ones are they uh, where are they I put them into my my uh, I put these modules. Oh, there we go. Geodesics. Oh, geodesics. Oh, their modules are so beautiful. I mean, look at this, huh? I just love geodesics. Um, also, you'll probably like see a red thread if I talk about the next thing I like. Uh, I'll just bring it up here. Come on, spell that right in... I talked about this the last time too, I think. I, th I think you can see why. Okay, so I love the Instruo stuff. And if you look at the Instruo stuff, and you look at Geodesics, I think you I think you can see what it is that I love so much. I mean, like, oh, it's just... I, I don't even know what to use this for yet. I just put them in because they look nice. They make my patches look nicer. Yeah, I, that's how much of an idiot I am. And let's see here. Let's see here. Let's let's take synth kit here also. Look at this. Look, look at synth kit. Look at synth kit. Look at that. I just love these. I I wish there were more like this. If I would ever design anything, you know, usually when I've designed analog synths in the pa uh, in the past when I've built them uh, myself like DIY stuff uh, I always make them black uh, with white lines or something like that um, and uh, yeah mm. Instro yeah Instro makes you you know that for anyone who doesn't know but this module is called Arbhar this one if you if you want to know what this is there's an app that can that can do pretty much the same thing that this one does and it's from Chris Carlson and it's called Borderlands Granular. So literally, Arbhar is Borderlands Granular as a modular unit. A bit more costly though, because the price for this thing is uh, 529 pounds. I think that's about $600 or something or more. So it costs a lot, all right? It really does. The geodesic stuff is deep and hard to understand without deep manual diving. Yeah, yeah, you really have to um, dive deep into it. And I don't recommend starting out with this if you're starting into modular. Don't. Just go the simplest route. Just start with an envelope, a filter, and, a, and an oscillator. And just try to make that work. And then maybe an LFO in there to make stuff swing around so you get the, the basic stuff first. And then you can, when you when you know that, that's when you start doing the NAND modules and and these atomic dual CV sequencer stuff, because you can get some really crazy patches. And if you need if you need to get some good tutorials from someone, then DivKit on YouTube is awesome. Ben is just mm, is a very very sexy man. That one. Mm -hmm. He definitely knows his stuff, and it was him through DivKid that I found out about um, Arbhar because he's got a video about that. And you go watch it, and you you'll see what I mean. You know, uh, about it being like a Borderlands Grandler module. 
let me just show you div kids channel real ch real quickly i like chatting out other people you know uh div kid div kid so you can recognize it if you see it if you're into modular if you want to get into modular you check out div kid you check out div kid this is his channel that's what it looks like he's awesome he's making he, he makes great really great uh tutorials and his Arbhar video, he makes so many videos, you know, it's almost every day it seems. So you'll, you're going to have to dive down and, and search through the videos in order to find uh, the Arbhar one. You could just search for DivKid and Arbhar and um, yeah, that's it. And that's how you spell it, Arbhar. I think it's Gaelic, uh, so I can't really produ uh, I can't pr produce the right type of vowels to even say those, say that. Say say that word, yeah, yeah. The div, yeah, the div. An iPad and Borderlands granular would set you back several hundred, though. Mitch, you do, yeah. I mean, Mitch is right. Mitch is right. If you think about it, I mean, you could easily spend this amount of money on an iPad and then Borderlands granular, right? Uh, sure. You can always get more apps very cheaply, but yeah. But if I had that money today, this is what I would buy. I'm not kidding you. I would build a modular with one module in it. That's that's the only thing. There's one breakout box I would make. I would want make a breakout modular, a little strip with the bigger connectors on it so I, so that I can connect uh, more. And by the way, if I remember correctly, this one puts out audio in stereo, which is very different. I'm always used to, you know, in the past, uh, everything being mono, but it, this one seems to be doing it in stereo, I think, uh, the output. What is a good YouTube channel to learn Myrac? Honestly, I don't know. I haven't checked that out. But but the thing is, uh, you kind of learn about. I mean, if if you watch a modular channel about modular, sure they'll be talking about voltages and stuff, and you you might not need that for for uh, my rack, but you will still learn the basics. The the you you know what I mean? And and some of these modular channels will. Uh, there is a desktop, not a desktop version of MyRack, but there is a desktop modular system that you can probably find, which is a very popular one. And MyRack is um, um, close to it. Don't want to say more than that because there's some <laughs> fighting going on between the. Yeah, it's, it's just some stupid drama going on between people who made that and the other one I'm not interested in the drama I'm just interested in software but if you if you look at some of these modular channels then they have checked out this other software so you'll be able to find like uh, instructional videos about that software and if you watch that you're gonna learn how to use my rack. the only difference is that on computer you're using a mouse to do the connections on an iPad or an iPhone because it's iPhone compatible too you're using your fingers the only big difference so uh, somehow we started talking about modular and we got accurate beats in the chat accurate you've been popping up on every damn stream and I've been missing your streams man I'm so sorry I've been sitting all night working on the same uh, I feel I almost said stupid video I'm just tired of working on this video but I'm so sorry, accurate. I've been missing all your streams, and I I quite enjoy your streams, man. There's always good music, and it's just now that I'm going on vacation. If you're still working, by the way, if you're still gonna be doing videos, then I'll probably sit, you know, somewhere in the forest when it's going dark, watching your videos with my headphones on, just relaxing, watching watching everything grow dark and. And just you know, listening for animal sounds. At the same time, thanks for popping up, though. Accurate. Oh man, that means a lot to me. That means a lot to me, man. I'm I'm so bad at taking. Um, I'm good at taking criticism nowadays. Nowadays, I used to be really bad at it, 
but I'm, I'm really bad at taking praise when someone gives it to me or hands it to me. Did, did, you, guys, did you guys ever see the stream where, um, you know, I did this talk. Let me show you. Let me show you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Luma Touch. Uh, if you didn't know it, um, I was doing this uh, thing for something called the, uh, the Mobile Creator Summit. And I was actually a guest at one of these events. I'm right there together with loads of other awesome people. And you can go watch that. Um, I'm, I'm right here. And during that stream, the guy there, Glenn, he gave me so much praise. And I, I sat down and watched him, you know, doing that and watching my reactions. And I'm so shocked. You know, my girlfriend, she was watching that too. And she said, like, you never said, like, you never, like, you never showed any appreciation or anything. You know, like, I, I don't know how to handle it when someone gives me a lot of credence. I don't know how to do that. Look at my face. I look so sad. Why do I look so sad? I was really happy. That was like one of the best events so far I've had, for, except from the Thomas Interactor and the mobile thing I did in Berlin. But you should really go check this. Specific. So I was in, in Germany like last year, this year, nothing has, you know, there, there hasn't been anything. And right now, they're, they're, you know, yeah. stuff are Crazy. getting canceled. And I was supposed to go to Germany this year too. But it's not that often, and I'm very uncomfortable going to, to places where there are big crowds. But here's the thing. If there's something we learned about this whole C19 thing, it is that as long as you have an internet connection and something like Skype or whatever we're doing right here, mm -hmm. then you can have kind of meetups, right? And so that's how I... Either way, I do recommend that you go watch this, and there are loads of other great speakers here. So this was done over a period of, I like, I think like four weeks or something, uh, and there are four videos up, and you can watch them all because they're up and available. Uh, there's so many great speakers, and they're talking about creativity um, using mobile uh, platforms. And I was so shocked at watching, watching all of this because there were so many good ones. And there's one in particular uh, that I think you should really catch up with. She came after me. Uh, what's her name again? Uh, let's see here. It's uh, Caroline Scott. This woman here, I know you can probably not see her, but she uses, she, she really hacks the mobile platform uh, to do some, some really cool stuff. And she uses other apps to edit her footage. And it's just awesome. Thank you for joining up, by the way. Uh, who was it? Someone <laughs> someone was going to go away, got to run. Oh, Alex Matthew. Thank you for joining up, Alex. And there's also another guy here uh, later on. Uh, where is he? He was great, too. You should really check him out. Oh, here he is. Here he is. And, uh, and Pruitt, this guy. Just go check... Go check these awesome creators out. They, they had some really good talking points. And I just really liked. They inspired me a lot. Especially those two. And Glenn here. He was. What a. What a god lord. You know. The, the greatest. Greatest like host ever. He just made everything glue together. The team behind this event. I've never seen an online event. Happen this smoothly. It just went on rails like every little issue they just squashed it and the cool thing is that they didn't know how to do it like a, a like a few months even before they they did it and they figured it all out being able to run with multiple speakers uh, handling all the logistics of that and just it was amazing it was an amazing experience I'm gonna have to talk about it in the video or just drive some traffic to it because there's way too, too few views on these videos because they're really great. So we started talking about apps and then we just fell into modular synthesis and I don't know. Oh, by the way, you know what I found out today? Oh, I have to tell you, I have to tell you, I have to tell you. You see, there's been one time um, a guy wrote a thesis and I'm mentioned in it. And now it's happened again. 
Someone got an, a, a PhD now. Someone contacted me and they just received their PhD and they wrote a thesis and I mentioned in it. And it's about modular, um, uh, no, it's about mobile music making. The guy has been working on this for three years. Um, I need to shout that out and, and show you the, uh, the uh, link to that. Come on, the audio is on here. Oh, I'm running that. Okay, so l let me just see if I can find it. Um, did the chat just die? Did the, is the stream still going? I hope the stream is still going. It looks like everything died. Um, let's see if I can find it. It was sent to my mobile uh, from a guy called Steve. Let's see here if I can open it. Uh, can I send it over to uh, maybe my uh, my iPad through AirDrop? Can I do that? Can I do that? Can I send it over? Come on, let me do that. To Hulk? What are you waiting for? I hope this is not a... <laughs> this could have been, you know, a prawn link or something. You know, someone pranking me. That would have been really... I've seen that happen to a few Twitch streamers, you know? <laughs> a few Twitch streamers, they get a link sent to them and they're like, whoa, can you see that? Okay, so this, it says, um, towards a practitioner model of mobile music. So there's a thesis here. I'll make sure to post this link so that everyone can go and check this out, the work that he did. And I mentioned in here, and I'm so happy that I get to be part of the scientific scientific community in one way or another can't tell you how much that means to me like that's just it's amazing it's amazing and it, all I do is videos in my bedroom like seriously I do I make videos in my bedroom everyone that is what I do so to have this to be this privileged it's just amazing I don't know how to properly I don't know who to thank all I can do is just keep on doing what I'm doing, trying to help out as much as I can and keep making videos. That's what I tell everyone that sends me any type of love. I just I'm going to I'm going to keep doing this and and thank you. That that's the only way. Prawn, yeah. Hey, nice. YouTube did not try to censor that. <laughs> nice. I wouldn't go as far as to call it a professor, but yeah, I mean Imagine that, getting his PhD. He told me in the email, I can't read the email for you because it's a private thing, right? But he told me that it had been rejected several times and that usually happens, you know, when, you make a, when you're doing that thing, when, you, when you're doing a thesis, it gets re rejected. But, I mean, I, I, it just feels awesome. To be, to be mentioned like that, uh, it's, it's literally like being peer-reviewed by someone in the field of, of science and oh it feels good it feels great I don't know what to say that's the only thing I can say it feels it feels really really good and that's something I'm really happy about and yes I do feel proud about that I do feel proud about that that is important work and I do hope that this paper this thing can help others doing research within the field of uh, mobile music making you know in the future maybe we'll see something you know <laughs> Maybe there are some developers out there who will read this and, you know, think about what they're going to do for their next app. Um, so, yeah. I'll try to stay as humble as I can. Um, so, have I missed any f questions here? I probably have. Uh, let's see here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cherry Audio's Eurorack VST for desktop. But it can get expensive. Yeah, I can imagine that. VCV rack. VCV rack. Yes, and to be clear, I did talk about. Um, I did talk about that. You know, the CVC from my rack, and it's not that it's been copied off CVC. There's been code out there, and then what the guy has done from my rack is made a new version of that. Uh, so it's it they're not that similar when you look under the hood and he's been trying to make that clear to everyone But there's still been some drama and you know for us users it, It's hard. It's hard. You know what side to pick. So here's what I do 
I sit on the fence until you remove it. Okay? So once you remove the fence, there's no fence to sit on. There's no there's no sides. There's just tools and the music we make with it. And that's what I try to focus on all the time. That's why I keep the channel running the way I do. Just keeping it running, keeping it running, putting out the same stuff, just using tools, showing how to use tools, trying to explain tools. Because that's literally what what all of this is. All of these apps, all of this hardware, it's just tools for us to use, to express ourselves with. So let me see if I can just take that link. Am I able to post the link in the chat? Can I, can I do that? Or can I just, um, how can I do this? What would be the easiest way to do this? Delete drama, delete drama, yeah. Um, can I, hey, you know, if I do this, I go to, no, I don't want you to see what I'm watching it. I've been getting some really weird, okay, uh, suggestions in my feed, which I don't understand why they're there, but I'm not going to show you. <laughs> I'm not going to show you. I got some really weird stuff in my feed. I don't understand the YouTube algorithm sometimes, and I can never trust the, the, the algorithm to promote the right type of stuff that I'm interested in because I've been confusing it for many, many years, so it thinks I'm interested in all kinds of weird stuff that I'm not interested in. Sometimes it does get it right, though, I, but I haven't been able to find any new channels to watch uh, through, the, through that. So let's see here. Uh, I'm just going to go to my channel here, make it simple, Jokobak Live, and see if I can open up the chat window and maybe type it in for you. There we go. I'll turn down the audio and I'll post the link to that. So there we go. Did it post it? Did that work? That should take you to the paper. My rack is on Mac OS. Mac OS? Mac OS. I didn't know that actually. Because Google is watching everything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. Prune juice. Prune juice. The favorite favorite drink uh, that Lieutenant Worf likes to drink. Anyone watch Star Trek? Anyone watch Star Trek? Anyone watches... Anyone, did anyone watch Battlestar Galactica? Battlestar Galactica? Anyone? Do you, do you like The Expanse? I love The Expanse. The Expanse is awesome. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. I, I, got, I got this account for, uh, for uh, Prime, uh, Amazon Prime, just to watch The Expanse. Just, just for that. Just love... Oh, no. My water. I'm out of water. Uh... You know, I wanna, I wanna yell to like, "Hey, baby, can you get me some water?" But nah, I'm not gonna do that. If it feels, I don't wanna, I don't wanna use my girlfriend like that. She's so nice to me, you know, and she does stuff for me all the time. So, you know, I always have to try to find ways, ways of paying back. Expanse is okay, but got too polit. Come on, Expanse has been like political since the start, haven't it? I mean, I think it's been political. It's always about like gaps between people, you know, from different sides. It basically starts in the slum. Uh, I just love it because of the feeling I get from the environment. I like what they did with the environment because I read the books from S.A. Corey, which is actually a duo. There are two guys writing that and they've basically taken the name S.A. Corey. Uh, so it's not one person, it's two and they go under that name. I read the books and then I wanted to watch the series to see if they actually hmm, got it right. And you know what? The police officer, the guy who is now, uh, I, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Maybe I, I almost spoil it. But there is a person there. The guy that plays the police officer, uh, the, the detective, he is the one I thought of when I read the book about that guy. I'm not kidding you. I was shocked and really, really happy when I saw him in that role because I was thinking about him every time I read uh, read those books about him. Every time he w came into the, the, the picture or the text, however you want to see it, I saw him in front of me. I, 
shocked and happy at the same time. And I think they've done a great job on it, you know, with the special effects and everything. I love the the kind of Creole weird speak they do. It's really awesome. Belters and earthers and stuff. Yeah, I like that. Check out the Orville. It's like 2020 Star Trek. Yeah, I I'm, I'm going to do that. Um where does it where does it run? Do I have to get another account somewhere? I'm <sighs> um, like how many accounts do I need? YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime. Like are there more? How many more are there? How many more do I need? Enable to watch this one thing. I'm really happy that Rick and Morty came to Netflix in the end, though. Have you watched the latest series? Me and my girlfriend, we kind of binged watched it one night when I had some time over. Just watched it straight through. Needed to relax, and that was just. I just still love that series. More into Westworld. Westworld is pretty pretty cool too. But I haven't watched them. I have seen like half an episode, and it looks good. So don't spoil it for me, please. I'm gonna have to do some timestamp for this because it's about talk about. It, I I think the title is talk about apps, and we're not doing that. Yeah, never mind. It doesn't really matter. Is too. Or was funny. It went two seasons. Disney Plus for Mandalorian. Disney Plus. Oh my God. There's another one. R and M are hilarious, but so inappropriate. So are we talking? Are we talking TV so it shows now? Is that is that it? Is that it? I mean, when it comes to um, when it comes to uh, to Battlestar Galactica, if you haven't watched it, if you have Prime, Amazon Prime, uh, you should watch it just for the ending, because I think that I think the Battle. Battlestar Galactica has one of the best endings ever. I loved that ending. So that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> Apple TV for C. Apple TV. How many do I need? I just... Mm, I wish there was this one service. One service I could pay. But then again, that wouldn't be a good thing either. Because as soon as one company grows too big, bad, bad things start to happen. And it's usually not good. There should always be some kind of competition, you know, to to have a better market for consumers. It's never good for the consumer when one one entity owns the market for something. Never good. Better if they all compete with each other in some way, you know. But it does get a bit ridiculous having like 10 different accounts watching 10 different things. I, I, I will admit that, that that feels a bit stupid. Even though they are micro transactions, you're paying a ten dollar here, uh, maybe maybe five dollars here, maybe 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 six dollars here, twenty nine dollars here. It's still, you know, in the end, it it's it's getting ridiculous. You're getting so many. For all mankind is cool on Apple TV. Watch the whole series for free during the one week free trial. Oh, Ed, is it easy to end the free trial? Because you know, Adobe is one of those companies that are really sh mm, I don't want to get into a lawsuit here so um, they are weird okay you want to try to end end your subscription with them first of all trying to find how to do that very hard trying to find someone to contact extremely hard trying to find someone to email even harder want to call someone nope you have to look at the first email you got from them all those years ago when you first made an agreement of uh, subscribing to their service and then when you find a phone number you have to call this one service that is open like a spe specific amount of time and you have to go through this uh, this uh, thing where you put in numbers and it's just getting crazier and crazier and, and suddenly it's been three hours and no one is on the phone and then you talk to someone and they tell you I'm gonna end it for you now and they do but at the end of the month, they still pull money from you. And you now have to contact them again. Why did you pull money? Why did you do that? Oh, we're sorry. We shouldn't have done that. We're going to give it back in three weeks. And somehow you have to wait three weeks. Why? Why? Uh, 
Oh, come on. Why would I have to moderate this? This is stupid. Adds up to less for paying for all those channels of, of shit. Oh, because of the shit. <laughs> it's, YouTube is being ridiculous. It doesn't like the word shit. <laughs> Goes through your app store account. You can cancel the moment you sign up and it will give you the free week trial without auto renewing and making you pay anything. All right. That's good. Anka Tom says, Jacob is more fun than TV. I'm, I'm sorry to say this, Anka Tom. You might be having a case of extreme boredom <laughs> if you think that I'm funny. I'm just... Uh, I'm literally just a dude who cannot English properly in his bedroom. That's all I am. I mean, look at this. I I'll show you. I, even, I haven't even made my bed. Look at that. Haven't even made the bed. Yep, that's it. That's what it looks like. That's why I go to sleep during the night. And I haven't made it because I'm lazy. I'm really lazy. And I've made up some excuse that it's a good thing to do that. You know, to let it uh, air. Ah, it's good because you need to let it air. And that way you won't have to make your bed either. Mm, it's great. That's one of the benefits of moving away from your parents' home. No longer having to make the bed. It's a great thing. Pete, don't apologize for typing shit. I, I think that you should be allowed to say the S-H-I-T word. Ugh, having a problem. Pro I having, I'm having problem spelling. I don't know why I did that. It really dried out my mouth. Ugh. Okay, so... <sighs> how many of you are gonna... Oh, yeah, right. This C19 thing is still going on in the world. And uh, let, let's just get some music here for the next part. I'm gonna try to wrap up the stream, you know? Um, so I just wanna play some music. Do I have any music that would be good? Uh, how long is this? This is just one minute. Don't I have like a loop or something I can run? <laughs> Come on now. Okay, I'll just go into my OST. I want to talk about something here because um, C19 is going on still. Some people aren't able to work. Some people lost their jobs. Some people are still working. Uh, for those of you who are working, if there is anyone here doing that, I don't know what your situation is exactly. We talked a little bit about that last time, but maybe not the same people are in the stream. Um, but uh, I forgot what I was going <laughs> to talk about. I was going to say something about, um, uh, yeah, if there is anyone here working, uh, are any one of you going to get some vacation time off? No, like, like time off? What are you going to do? Like, I mean, I'm just going to enjoy the company of my girlfriend, enjoying some out time, you know, in the woods, off the grid, without anything. And, and that's pretty much it, because I really feel like I can't just go on a subway and, you know, there's this forest, like a, like a, what do you call it? Like a reserved space, a piece. There's a place where no one gets to do anything with the forest. I can't remember what it's called in English. Uh, but it's like ancient forest. It's old forest. Very, very good for, for the natural life. And so they don't want you to touch it. And so they'll put a stamp on it. Uh, but it's a nice park. And it's not too far away from where I live. The problem is to go there by foot, it will take four hours. To go there by bike, it will take maybe maybe an hour and a half or something. But we only have one bike. Um, and if I jump on a subway, I'm there in... 10 minutes but I don't want to do that obviously don't want to start going on to the subway yet so for us yeah nature reserve thank you it's a nature reserve and it's not too far away from us really nice forest so what are you going to be doing the problem is that I don't want to work in this crazy world at the moment I get that Sasha I, I do I am I am so privileged because I get to do this, you know, 
the downside with doing this job is that you are pretty much alone unless you make it into a social thing by having people constantly uh, on Skype or something you know um, because in my area there are a few youtubers but they're they're different types of youtubers they make different types of videos and so we don't communicate with each other I know who they are uh, they probably don't know who I am because they're really really large channels but it's not like I get to we can't really communicate about the same things when it comes to music youtubers they're spread out you know so far across and most of us are really socially awkward people and so we don't really meet up so unless you make it into a Skype thing where you actually get to talk to people like that I talked to Mitch the audio dabbler once I wanna do that again Mitch if you're still here I don't know if you're still here but if you're still here we should do that again I've talked to Dean uh, from Electronic Sounds Audio, Doug Woods, I talk to developers, um, but it's not like it's every day because I simply just don't have the time for it uh, because I put so much time into making the videos. But what do you do? What do you do for for Christmas, I almost said, for for the vacation? Do you get any vacation now? Like, I don't know what your situation is right now. Mm, come on. Where is my... Don't I have it here? Okay, there we go. Can y'all can y'all hear that? Can y'all hear that? What was that? What was what kind of an accent was that? I'm so messed up, you know. I'll watch Accurate Beats wanna join me for a podcast though? Yeah, you're still here, Accurate? <laughs> podcast live stream yeah sure man I would love to do that I'm a lonely dude I'd love to oh Kelly Kempe that's my old friend again my old bro Kelly also lives in uh, your area somewhere accurate But yeah, definitely accurate. And Kelly, we should probably call each other soon enough. We haven't talked in a while, man. We haven't talked in a while. We, we should do that too. But yeah, I'd be happy to join you in a, in a podcast, uh, Accurate. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? You'll be going to the Savannah. Savannah. Oh my God, you have that. You have a Savannah? Where you live, man? Mitch. Mitch. <laughs> if... If... Mmm... If I ever get to go to the US some time in the future where maybe the political current leader isn't not so happy with people like myself with Pakistani last names if that if that is ever okay I would love to go to the US and do like a cross country thing and go meet up with all the YouTubers and and all the people you know because I've never been I've never been to the US I'd love to go someday. I really do. I really do want to go someday. I want to go to Canada. I want to go to to the US. I want to go to Australia. I want to go to so many countries. Uh, it's just that I need to keep my flying to the minimum because I'm I'm trying to n not tax something a hard, you know. Plus, I'm I'm not that rich either, but US trip is definitely something I, I want to do in the future and it would be an awesome thing my girlfriend she's a journalist and maybe we could make it into a job thing maybe I can talk to a music company and make it into a sponsored trip where I actually then have to do sponsored content where I like hey uh, let's say Moog sponsors me they wouldn't do that but let's say Moog sponsors me for taking a cross trip you know across America making a documentary about music making then then it would be like this. Hello, I'm sponsored by Moog. They they make the greatest stuff, and you know that wouldn't be a lie. That would be true. They do make the greatest stuff. So, I I would love to be sponsored by them. Moog, Moog, Moog. I know you have. I know you have cash. I know you have cash. I'm not that expensive. Pay my trip to the U.S. Okay. You should go to Canada and ride a big moose into battle. Kalle, have you been, like, uh, I know you work with some strong chemicals wh while you do that circuit board thing you do, you know, in the lab. Are you in the lab now, Kalle? 
you might want to check your your uh, your your um your co meter you, you, because if, if there's a lot of co in there you know that it might ma it might make you act weird or is this some kind of a dream you've had where you've like i don't know how it would go but i mean it makes me kind of it makes me a little bit nervous but this hold like, am I naked when I'm riding on that moose or something? Oh, I forgot. Sasha, don't want the sex talk. We're not going to do that. That would be cool, especially mobile music production angle. Yeah, that would be awesome. Salvador Rio, uh, Rios, Salvador Rios Jr. says, Yo, man, thanks for getting me into iOS music production. I really like making beats and having a blast, too. You too, audio dabbler and accurate beats. Thanks for... Oh, I love it. Praise like that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and I hope that all of us can continue uh, filling uh, filling your needs for whatever you might need. I, I make every sentence awkward, more awkward than I have to. Do I have some nice graphic here? Let's, let's see here if I have something. Oh yeah, baby. I'll play... I'll, no, I can't play that because it's gonna make a sound. I don't want to make a sound. I want some nice graphic to run in the background. Can I make that? Do I have some nice graphic? I have a Jacob picture here. That's a Jacob picture. I can run a Jacob picture. Now you got like two of me in here. And you know what? I, I can do it even better. I have a moving one too. Look at this. Yay. Look at that. I, I, it, it, the, the green isn't supposed to be there, but I don't have a filter right now to put it up. But that's me. Someone have been asking me, how do you do this, Jacob? Well, I take a picture, a high-res one. I make a cutout in a project, uh, in a in an app for just making cutouts, and then I send it into a uh, an app that I animate stuff in, and then I just record some animations uh, randomly until it looks as if I'm moving to speech, but I never do it to speech, and then I export it as a video with a green background. I bring it into LumaFusion. I add a filter on it to remove it, a chroma key, and there you go. Voila. I have a animated Jacob and I do those when I don't have time to do face cams like with the new video I'm doing now I can't do face cams because that would make the video too long and that just it just doesn't you know it doesn't work are you gonna restart yeah you are I was just going to say the Jacob picture needs to move I'm setting up a new lab at the moment all right okay so make sure you're not sniffing any weird stuff I mean I kind of enjoyed that whole moose thing battle battle moose it sounds kind of cool man it's just that um, a little unexpected coming from <laughs> from you my man <laughs> I feel like I joined this stream just at the right time garage band guide man oh here's another one if you are into into music um, mobile music making if you wanted to start out with something that is free then it's GarageBand it's always going to be GarageBand it is free it's a fully fledged app and if you need to get started with that there are two channels out there who makes amazing work when it comes to GarageBand and that is number one the GarageBand guide and the other one is Pete Johns and I'm going to show those two channels because yeah I need to do that GarageBand guide. By the way, GarageBand guide and and Hack Attack should do a collabs at some point. Just you know, podcast or something. Uh, I've been thinking about trying to set something up um, as a like a regular monthly thing, where we get together people from the community and we'll have up to like four people doing it. So at one week it could be GarageBand, Pete Jones, it could be Dean Daughters, it could be um, anyone, right? And um, and we'll have people from these, uh, from all these channels, just getting together once a month, doing a podcast. So why don't we talk over email at that, um, or something? If you're up for it, still want to hear your thought about Core Gadget. Is it still any good? Yeah, it is still very good. It is. It is. It, the the only thing with Core Gadget is that if you want to do audio work, then it's it's not too fun it's not too fun to do audio work um, it leaves a lot to be desired with the audio plugins uh, you can use Zirish and then there are 
what is it like Lisbon or something there, there are some plugs in there when it comes to I can I'll, t I'll say this what it's really best at it's sequencing synthesizers basically sequencing synthesizers and and uh, and drum drum gadgets that's what it does best and that's what it's always going to do best until they unless they do something with it if they change the core concept of core gra gadget and and changes the look of it or the way that the sequencing window works it's always going to do just synth sequencing the best and it's really really good at that especially if you want to do rhythmical sequencing and stuff like that um, but for people looking for MPC like work I would always recommend looking at the other ones and especially Beatmaker for people doing audio work it's always going to be Aria Pro and Cubase multi-track audio or uh, multi-track DAW if you're doing synth sequencing, if you're not even interested in audio or anything like that, if you're not into MPC, then gadget every time. Oof, it's just amazing that way. You can run so many synths. It's the closest thing you can get to what you can get out of um, desktop PC. Like on desktop PC, when I used to use that with the Natives suite, uh, I used to run like several instances of the massive synth. Um, and I would have several instances of drum machines and everything. And I only feel like I'm able to do that without my iPad dying inside Gadget because all the gadgets have been optimized for that. So um, I've got projects where I've got 24 gadgets running and nothing is stuttering. That's what I like about Gadget. It's so optimized. Another app that is good that way, Nano Studio. So Nano Studio 2 and Gadget 3 uh, or 2. Is it 2 or 3? latest version of gadget latest version of Na uh, nano studio those ones are amazing because all of their plugs are optimized to to run at very low cpu so yeah definitely gadget is still i think it's still worth it yeah sign me up from the garage fan guide yeah we should do that I i'm gonna make that happen i'll be on vacation to uh, for two weeks um, but after that, I'll make sure to contact you and I'll try to, maybe you can talk it over to, with, uh, with Pete Johns. It would be cool to have like a, like a four panel thing. Pete Johns, you, me, and one of the other guys start it up and then it can, we can set it up so that anyone could run it, you know, from their end. And we could also host it at different channels, but still have the same name, stuff like that, just to draw some more viewers to all of us in some way and also to make something interesting because I mean on my channel I'm the, I'm the guy that talks all the time and sometimes that's why I make these tutorials to lift someone else have them talk and speak you know up for their stuff because that yeah that's I like doing it like that so it would be nice um, so if you're up for it we could we can even host it over at um, at your your channel if you want uh, We'll just talk it over. Ah, I'm all over Beatmaker 3. It's amazing. I just want something else. What are you looking for, Accurate? What are you looking for? Are you... I mean, I know how much you're into MPC. Are you looking to get away from MPC? Or are you looking for a new workflow to get into what you're already doing in MPC? Is that what you're doing? Just tell us what you what you want, man. I can't understand why you didn't like Ableton. No, I never said I didn't like Ableton. There are loads of stuff I like in Ableton. But for the same reason, some people will choose a certain color for their jeans or a certain type of model of car. It doesn't mean that they hate every other color on their jeans. It doesn't mean that they hate every other car. It just means that that car suited them and maybe the other ones didn't. They're all good. They have great engines. You can reach top speed at this and this time. They have great colors. They have great wheels and steering and everything. It's just that it wasn't a fit for me. I've been working with 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 uh, audio sequencers for a long time and MIDI sequencers for a long time. And <laughs> Ableton is so far away from that. It's a completely different workflow than something like Cubase. 
if you've been using Cubase for as long as I have, and you try to get in on, with Ableton, you have to relearn everything from the beginning. And I don't have the patience. So I found that what I discovered was that this would be awesome for live, you know, really using it live because it's been designed that way. But I can't make anything in it. I can't get anything done because it's like trying to, it's like coming to a new town that you never ever get used to. That you, you, you look at maps, you go around town, but you never ever get used to anything. You walk around for ages, you don't realize you've been going around in circles. You, you've been walking past the same turnpike five times and you still don't recognize it. That's what I felt like with Ableton every time I tried to get into it. So it's not that I didn't like it, I couldn't get used to it. I don't know, I just want to use my iPad more. <laughs> do, do, do I... I have a feeling... Accurate, have you been getting into synths more and more lately? I just have that feeling that maybe you've been doing more synth stuff. So you are a Cubase head. Yes, I am a Cubase head. For a long time. We're talking, we're talking since Cubase was only a MIDI sequencer back in the day. Something that could run on an Atari ST. That's how long back we're talking. Do you understand? Do you understand why I can't get into Ableton? It, it, it's like the biggest switch for me. It was easier for me to understand something like Core Gadget because I recognized the piano roll. I've had that in Cubase for a long time. <laughs> you see what I mean? And Cubase is, it makes sense because Cubase. If we look at other apps, multi-track DAW, well, it's just an audio tracker. Yeah, Aria, it's just an audio tracker. It just happens so that I don't like the interface with that one, but I get it completely. Ableton, whoa, different. The closest Ableton-esque type of thing that I actually was able to use was ModStep. Uh, because of the clip launching thing, yeah? And that's something I really like in Ableton. Clip launching is amazing, especially for live work. I mean, who doesn't like that? But I'll, I've had a comp I had to compromise there, and the best compromise I could use was uh, for looping and for, you know, audio work and clip launching, basically loopy. Samuel says my brain clicks with logic. Logic is also something I've used, but I've used them in studios, uh, depending on who's been working with that. I mean, whenever I get to a studio, people will use logic for most of it, but I've also been in Pro Tools studios, and I've been in studios where people have been using, uh, like Cubase also, but logic is something you see a lot. Different is good. I've always been sam sample based, I still am, uh, but I have a couple of synths and I use them a lot. I just dislike modular systems, I mean to everything, just needs a fast workflow. Well it sounds to me as if you're in for a very interesting time accurate man, I mean... The problem is when you're trying to find a workflow, the problem is the older we get, the less patient we get usually with stuff like this, you know, because we already know kind of what we want. So it's harder to find stuff now because as soon as we look at something, we usually know what to expect. Do you, do you get that same feeling? Does anyone else know what I mean? Or maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. I would say Koala Sampler would be a good way to use the iPad. Koala Sampler is pretty awesome too. Accurate, have you, have you used Koala Sampler by the way? It's basically like an SP404. Uh, as an app, really cheap app, um, inexpensive app at that. NS2 then, yeah, NS2 is pretty good, yeah. I'm so sad that Modstep died. I is it confirmed dead? Is Modstep confirmed to be dead? Because that might be news that I've missed. I don't know if it's still in the uh, store. It's still in the store. Last update was two years ago. Whoa, okay. Yeah, but then again, hey, hey, hey. When was Sampler updated last time? Hmm? When? Quite recently. And there were like almost, what, four years between? Borderlands Granular, same thing, same thing. Beatmaker. So. 
might not be dead. We don't know. I tried Koala, but it doesn't add anything new. I have an S... Oh, you, oh, you have an SP404. Okay. Well, at least now you can carry it around in your pocket, I guess. I mean, the SP404 is... It's not that big and bulky. I mean, it. I would call that a portable device. And I've... I've I used to power stuff like that with a moped battery back in the day that I carried around in my backpack with a regulator. So I just build a voltage regulator so it put out the right voltage and I'll put that in. I used to put that into my MC303, the MC, uh, what was it? Uh, the other one back in the day. It was it the 909? I can't remember now. But I used to bring like an MC303. Um, I had later on, you know, I used to carry an Electribe instead, an Electribe ES1, um, the Chaosolator. I used to power all of that with, from a circuit board that was powered from a 12 volt moped battery. And you know, there's so much power in it, so you can literally run it for two days, these machines, and have like a rave in the forest if you want. And I've done that. I've actually done that. I learned Ableton in my 50s. Age isn't a deterrent. Yeah, the only deterrent for me is my, 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 I don't know if it's my unwillingness to learn. I wouldn't say I'm unwilling to learn. I would say that, I, hey, I'm not unwilling. I've been trying to get in with GarageBand and Aria for, well, since I started, six years now. Six years doing mobile music making. And I just can't seem to get in with it because the interface doesn't agree with me. There's nothing wrong with those apps. They're amazing. They offer you so many great tools. I just can't get in with it. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with it, really. It's just not for me. That's why I keep saying that. Those apps are good. I just don't use them myself. Koala is polyphonic too. Yeah. So it looks like... Yeah, I'm gonna have to wrap it up because it's getting late here and after 10 o'clock in the evening, which it is now here in Sweden, Stockholm, uh, my neighbors are gonna start getting annoyed with me. Usually when you're living in an apartment, you have to be quiet and I'm, I'm trying to catch some of the, uh, there's still some, uh, some daylight outside and I wanna catch some of that. I think I messed up the, um, the, the, f the footage. Ah, sorry for that. Mm. There we go. I want to catch some of it. Maybe have a walk or something, you know, out outside. Take it cool. Take it slow. I realized that we didn't talk about apps more than half an hour, so I'm going to have to do some timestamps for this thing. And, you know, I want to thank all of you who have been joining up for this stream. I don't know how many is watching, actually, because uh, this thing isn't showing me accurately, but... You know, I'm keeping this over here. Um, thank you so much for joining the stream and making it special because that is what you are doing. You are making every stream special when you join up. And I can't thank you enough. And the only way I really can thank you all is by doing what I'm already doing and just keep doing it and try to improve the formula and making better videos. So that's, that's pretty much what I'll be doing. And now, um, now I'll be wishing you... Uh, this has been Jakob Hack Live. I, um, all ratings and uh, all comments and ratings are very much appreciate, uh, pre appreciate. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. And that, that's it. That's the end of the stream. And this is where I just sit here, keeping on talking. Yeah. There aren't any new apps anyway. <laughs> yeah, okay. So anyone who thinks I'll be sleeping now, no. I don't go to sleep until uh, 6 o'clock in the morning because uh, when my girlfriend goes to sleep around 12, uh, usually she goes to sleep later, uh, that's when I sit up and I keep on working. So I'll be keeping on editing the video. Uh, I need to do that uh, until 6 and then I'll go to bed and then I'll wake up about 12 tomorrow at noon and then I'll keep on working with it. So I have about one and a half day of grind, uh, like true grind to do to get this video done because on Friday I need it to be so ready that I can just post it out with everything done, thumbnail, upload, 
all the info and this time I also have to put all the sources in the box because there are some sources I've been using that I've been referencing to it's a proper episode this one it's really proper um mm. I hope that people watch it I need I need for a video like that to make it worth the while I need the video to reach about 3000 views so I really hope that it'll get at least that and if it does I'm 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 satisfied if I get that I'm satisfied so that's 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 good yeah hope you're looking forward to it and let me know what you think about it on Friday and we'll be seeing each other not next Wednesday or the Wednesday after that but in two weeks so that will be on eh, there no on next one first of July first of what first is it June now oh it's oh it's June already whoa whoa dude I'm losing it I'm losing time here okay so first of July the stream will be back thank you all for joining up and you all too thank you Pete thank you thank you Dean thank you Mitch thank you everyone I I love you so much thank you and goodbye now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find <laughs> Pete wait Pete you have to hear this I had to moderate your comment about fingering stuff <laughs> YouTube doesn't like my catchphrase <laughs> I'm gonna allow that there we go okay so I'm gonna turn this off if I can Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.